In the video today, I'm going to show you how to add multi-level filters with parent categories and subcategories that will have the ability to filter WooCommerce products on the page using Ajax without refreshing the page. Once selected a parent category, the subcategories will show underneath and then it will filter again once selecting a subcategory. So now we have woman jeans selected on the page and those are the products that we see. Without no more further ado, let's get started. To get started, the first thing you're going to want to do is add categories and products. So over here under WooCommerce products, we have categories and you can see that my setup has parent categories and child categories, which are actually subcategories. If you don't know how to do this, just create categories over here. And if you want to assign a category to a parent, over here, you can choose the parent category, click add, and it will add it to the categories. After that, inside of the products, you can assign each product a category. So that's the first thing you're going to want to do, of course, before creating the filters. For the filters, I'm going to be using Unlimited Elements, which is a widget library for Elementor. And we're going to be using two types of widgets today. The first widget is going to be a WooCommerce grid. So I'm going to search over here on the right hand side for WooCommerce product grid and I'm going to install that grid. The technique I'm using today will also work with lists or carousels and stuff like that. It also works with posts. So the example today is for products, but this also works for posts. Same exact technique. And the next thing I'm going to do is actually install the tabs filter widget, which is the filters themselves. So the way this works is that we have the grid itself, and then we have filters that filter that grid as two separate widgets, which is pretty convenient because it gives us the ability to design this exactly how we want to. I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to call my page Woo Filters and I'm going to click Edit with Elementor to edit the page inside of Elementor Page Builder. First thing I'll do is get rid of all my headers and footers in this website. So I'm going to go into Settings and Page Layout, Elementor Canvas and I'm going to publish the page that will refresh the editor. Now we have a clean page that we can work on so we can be focused on the design and on the widgets. The first widget I'm going to add is the WooCommerce and it's going to be the WooCommerce grid actually. So WooCommerce product grid. I'm going to drag that to the page and we need to check out a couple of settings inside of this grid. So first of all, I'll change this into four columns just so we can see more products over here. And inside of products query, I'm going to leave only the products I want to see. And the way I'm going to do this is by using terms. Now, it's super important that we initially set up our grid inside of products query with a query that shows the initial products you want the user to see before adding any filters. So what we're going to do is add over here custom products and include by term. I'm going to add men and women. So I want only products that are assigned to those two categories. And you can see that now I don't see any products. So what I need to do is over here in include by term, change it from and to or because none of my products are assigned to men and women, but they're assigned to men or women. So I'm going to change that to or and now you can see that we got this set up. And just because I want my grid to align nicely, 
I'm going to change the maximum number of products to eight. So that's our grid looking good. Next thing we're going to want to do over here is go into the pagination and filtering. And over here, I'm just going to enable post filtering. Without enabling this, there is no way to connect to the filters. So you're going to want to make sure that you've done this step. Inside of the style tab, I'll just make my images a bit less high. So I'm going to change this to 300 instead of 400. And that's looking good. And inside of layout or maybe buttons, let's turn off one of the buttons so we don't have two buttons. And it doesn't really matter because this is just for example purposes, just I want it to look good. So next part is to add our filter. So I'm going to search for filter. And over here we have tabs filter. As you can see, it's showing all sorts of categories or taxonomies or terms from my WordPress post. And what we want it to show actually is the terms from the products. So I'm going to go over here into term selection and the first thing I'm going to do is going to tell it what categories I want to show. Now in select post type, I'm going to change that from post to product. And now I will see all the taxonomies available for products. Now I don't want it to be by product type, but I do want it to be by product category. So I'm going to select over here product category, and now it's showing all the categories available. The thing is that it's showing also subcategories, and I don't need those subcategories. So over here in include by, I'm going to choose specific terms, and down here we have a new input that's open, and I'm going to manually select both of the terms that I want to show in my main filter. So this is going to be the main filter, and later on, once you select men or woman, you will see the subcategories, the subfilter. So men is the first one, and woman is the second one. So over here, now you can see that our filter is assigned correctly. Let's preview the page in the front end and see that everything's working as we expect it to work. So all is showing both men and women, and woman showing just women, and men is showing just men. Awesome. Next part is uh, adding our sub filters. To add the sub filters, we need to assign this filter to be in a main role. So let's go into the filter settings and in filter role, instead of a, just a single filter, we're going to change this one to be the main filter. So this is going to be the main filter and now it's telling the page that there's going to be sub filters under that. Now to do the sub filters, I'm going to add a new instance of the filter widget to the page over here. And instead of filter role single, I'm going to change it to be a child, a child filter. It means that there's one filter above of it that's going to affect it. So child filter is good for us. We do not need all, uh, all the items, this all filter. So I'm just going to turn that off. And we do not need the first one to be selected by default. Only if the user selects, then it will filter. You can leave this on, but in my case, it's not needed. Now in the term selection, again, we're going to move to product. Again, we're going to change the taxonomy to product category. And now we're going to do include by. And instead of specific terms, I'm going to choose children of a specific category and then it will show automatically all the children of the category that i'm going to choose so over here i change this to children of and instead of all parents it, we're going to show only of the men filter 
So the men category, only the sub of the men. Awesome. So we got our men subcategory set up, and we're going to do the exact same thing for the woman. So I'm going to duplicate this. And over here, in term selection, instead of men, I'm going to choose woman. Pretty straightforward. And as you can see, for the men, we have coats, and for the woman, we don't. So awesome. It's really working great. And the next part is to test this on the page itself. Over here in the front end, you're going to see the subcategories, just so you can edit these and edit the selection, the term selection. And the filter settings but on the front end as you can see we're seeing only the main role over here the main filter so i'm going to click men and as you can see under that now i see the sub categories and over here i can see all the items inside of the men category until i just select shoes and now we're seeing only men shoes so this is very, very powerful, and you can achieve advanced multi-level filters using this technique. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video.